Chloe, how did you guys get started? So my husband was raised in a family that did conventional farming already. Okay. And about 2012, he came back from Cal Poly with an ag business degree and was just like, I really want to do something better for the animals. So began initially working with them, um, trying to convert everything over to be free range. Okay. And then um, we were approached by uh, some people that we now sell our eggs to, and they were just like, hey, have you ever heard of pasture raise? Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Um, so we kind of went, we figured out what it was, and um, initially, like, right away started doing it. What are some challenges that you guys are coming across? So um, initially when we first started, uh, we didn't know the idea. It's so different from conventional farming. Mm -hmm. So. Predators were a huge problem. Um, we ended up putting up six foot fencing. Now that's not as much of an issue. We also got uh, livestock guardian dogs, which are called Anatolian Shepherds, which are great. Um, they've helped, like they've cut loss down to less than 1%, oh, which wow. initially it was like 25%, which is crazy. Um, and then we got llamas thinking that would help first. That didn't really do a whole lot. Um, so then yeah, the dogs really made a huge difference. The six foot fencing around the entire pasture makes a phenomenal difference as well. But as you can hear all around us, you hear lots of roosters yep. going around. Um, those guys do the most to help with aerial predators. Oh, wow. They're gonna, they make a really specific cackle noise. Um, and as soon as they do it, all the chickens will run into the barn um, or underneath some kind of shelter um, to just be safe from predators. So oh, it's that's been, smarter than I thought. It's crazy and it's amazing when you think of it. Um, just this whole process of learning for us has been amazing because we're realizing that the way nature intended it is so perfect. You know, like we don't really have to intervene as much as we think we do. Mm -hmm. um, if we let things kind of play out the way that they were designed to, it all just kind of flows really beautifully. Awesome. As far as living in the desert and, you know, having to deal with that too, yeah. um, you know, aside from predators, what is some, some challenges that you deal with with not having natural grass and, yeah. you know, what, what, what do you use for that? Absolutely. So. Um, a little bit of what we do is we really focus on ensuring that our soil health is really nutrient dense. Okay. Um, so we don't do tilling, we don't do extra stuff so that we keep the root system in the ground so that all year round there is bug life still happening. Um, so the chickens get to go through, you can see them all out in the pastures foraging right now. Um, that's a huge part of it. We still want to make sure that's there. And then as soon as we get rain, they do get grass. And then after, aside from that, we're also giving them a a certified organic, non-GMO, corn and soy-free feed. Uh, that corn and soy-free really cuts back on the inflammation response that okay. eggs generally cause people. So most people who have allergies to eggs are really aller more allergic to the ingredients that the chickens are fed themselves. Oh, and with that, um, just seeing this, just this huge difference between um, a conventionally raised egg, even a, a certified organic egg raised in a different environment just creates such a different end product. Chloe, walk me through the life cycle of the egg and how it started and then where we end up eating it. Absolutely. So the process for a chick to actually grow to a point where it actually lays eggs is about six, four to six months. Mm -hmm. um, and from that point when they actually begin laying eggs, um, we set them up in a barn here. They get a cruise of pasture and then from there they lay the eggs in these little barns and then we move, we collect them daily. We wash them, we package them, and then they're out to the stores. That's awesome. Yeah. Doing the farming cycle the way that you just explained it, what would be the general cost of producing the egg? So generally, from just the first six months before the chicken's even producing, it's about $48 per chick Jeez. To in cost alone. Um, so if you think about that, times 10,000 birds, $480,000. Yikes. So it's pretty money. costly, but I think that's the thing that we are so committed to, like having like real integrity behind the product we produce. Of course. Chloe, what are some challenges that you're you're facing getting people to understand to purchase your eggs versus a conventional Joe Schmo egg? So I think that's probably one of our biggest issues in reality is the fact that not even just organic or pasture raised or free range or all of these labels are so um, abstract, especially for someone who's going to the grocery store and just sees this shelf full of eggs, right? So um, we've tried to distinguish ourselves in lots of different ways. So we, we have our farm open to the public and that's why we always encourage people know your farmer, know where your food comes from. And that's really going to be able to like push the most integrity and ensure you're getting the best product that you're trying to get, right? So um, that's one of our biggest things. We always like promote transparency. We're huge on social media, showing people exactly what we're doing, our whole processes from um, how we raise our chicks to how our, our hens are in the field. Um, we also talk a lot about um, just 
about 98% of people actually still only get their products that they use in their home from the grocery store. And from there, I think that like separating ourselves and just like we started using the term truly outdoors because like I said, even pasture raised now has just been so muddled right. um, and can mean a lot of different things. So that's where it really comes down to knowing your farmer, knowing where you're getting your product, engaging in social media, um, and really like having a farmer that's really transparent. So transparency is your best friend in the Huge. growth of your farm. That's awesome. Absolutely. And that's like the biggest advocate. If someone's not willing to show you what they're doing, they're generally there's yeah. a reason, yep. you know, there's a reason behind it. So we're big believers in that. I love it.